Hey, what's up everybody? Daniel Sun here. Yeah, Polo, Ralph Lauren, 1978. I'm so glad that I'm doing this today. I really am. I've been wanting to do this for a long time and today is the day I'm finally doing it. Um, but I want to tell y'all, I'm going to start adding something to my channel and I want to let y'all know about it. Um, the fragrance community has been really cool lately. Um, there's been a ton of support and love in the fragrance community lately, and I'm loving it, man. Um, there's been a lot of support, you know, people supporting each other and people helping each other out. There's been a lot of fragrance reviewers that support each other and fragrance bloggers that are supporting each other and different, uh, fragrance Facebook groups supporting each other and fragrance YouTube channels supporting each other and you know, I think it's really cool. I really do. Um, I try, I actually try to support everybody all the time, but sometimes it's really hard to do because um, there's so much to keep up with, you know, so many reviewers and so many um, posts and all this stuff, and it's really hard to do. So I came up with an idea. Um, starting with this fragrance review, I'm going to be highlighting somebody in every single review that I do, um, at least for now anyway. Um, I'm going to pick a person in either like um, a fragrance reviewer or a fragrance blogger or somebody in the fragrance community that stands out to me, you know, that helps a lot of people. I want to highlight somebody every single fragrance review. And uh, I was thinking about it last night. I was like, who do I want to start with? Who do I want to, you know, start doing this? And I just started asking myself a bunch of questions like, well, who do you respect? And who's been around for a long time? And somebody kept popping up into my head. And uh, I decided to go ahead and do them. Um, when I joined the fragrance community June 2018, when I first found out that there was actually people on YouTube doing fragrance reviews. Wow, that blew my mind. I was like, seriously, there's people that actually do this? So I started getting into it. I started watching fragrance reviewers um, talking about fragrances. And uh, I started watching this one guy. And the first time I seen him, I was like, I like this guy because, you know, he's just so laid back. And he knows a lot about fragrances. Um, you, you could tell that he's doing it because he loves to turn people on to fragrances and he loves to talk about fragrances. He's like a true fraghead. And you could tell he's not doing it to get subscribers or anything like that. He's just really fun to listen to. And I've learned a lot from him, um, you know, th throughout my fragrance journey. His, uh, his YouTube channel name is Egan Lifestyle. His name is Chad. Really, really cool guy. I'll put the link to his channel in the description of this review, and I hope y'all check him out. He's a really cool guy. I've learned a lot from him. But anyway, on to my review. Um, Polo, 1978, Ralph Lauren. Um, Ralph Lauren is a American fashion house. Um, Ralph Lauren founded his company in 1967. Tell me... Tell me what he did in 1967. Tell me what his company was doing in 1967. What was what was the first thing that he started doing when he created his company? A lot of y'all probably won't know that. Um, I sort of already knew that because for like the last year, I've been like, you know, really into like history of the houses and the perfumers and the fragrances and all that stuff. But some of y'all might have to Google, but let me know and put it down in the comment section um, of this uh, fragrance review. Anyway, let me give you, um, let me tell you who the perfumer is. Carlos Benign um, is the nose behind this. He's done 150 fragrances, I believe. He's done some amazing stuff. Um, some of the fragrances that he has done. Um, Liquid Night by Lab on Fire, Icon and Century by Dunhill, 
Japur Bracelet by Bougeron. Love y'all know I love Bougeron. Um, Jasmine Noor by Bulgari. Pure Poison by Dior. Um, Lone Libre by Yves Saint Laurent. Um, Ode Magnolia by Frederick Mall. He's done six polos. I think this is my favorite polo, the just the original green one. Um, so he's done some really cool stuff. The notes to this are pine. The top notes are pine, lavender, juniper, artemisia, bergamot, cumin, basil, and vetiver. Um, hard notes is coriander, marjoram, jasmine, carnation, geranium, um, thyme, rose. The base notes are oak moss, patchouli, leather, cedar, amber, musk, frankincense, and tobacco. If I had to describe this to somebody, how would I describe it? It would be super masculine. I know that. Actually, let me tell you what the opening, the mid, and the dry down is. The opening to this is very resinous, very woody, very pine. It's like going up to a pine tree with resin all over it and smelling it it's like that it's very very super super fresh the thing about one of the things that i like about this fragrance is that opening that i just said carries over into the mid all the way into the dry down all the way through the life of the fragrance on me in the mid that resin and the pine and the woods and the freshness carries over into the mid, but there's florals that come in and add to that. Um, you got the rose that comes in and the carnation and the jasmine. Um, so it's really beautiful. The opening is so beautiful and so fresh and so masculine, but in the mid it gets even better because all that mixes with all the florals, especially the rose, that's a really nice touch. But the mid, all that mid carries over into the dry down and the floral and the resin and the woods and the freshness mixes with the cedar and the tobacco and the amber and the incense and you're left with, it is, it is so nice, it is so beautiful. It's so outdoors and so earth and so trees and so fresh. Um, it's just beautiful. I mean, the opening, the longer you wear this, the more it develops, the better it gets. The, the opening is so beautiful, but it gets even better all the way through. It just gets better and better until it ends up going away and you just want to spray more on. Um, Every time I get ready for a review, I always try to think, I was like, whose signature scent would this be? Who would be the best person to represent this fragrance? And there's only one person that popped into my head. Wolverine. This would be Wolverine's signature scent. Why? Because it's uber masculine. It's like super duper woodsy and resin and earthy and masculine and tobacco it's just like it's it's just perfect for me i love this type of fragrance i really do um just like my other two my last two reviews that i've done the fahrenheit eau de toilette and dracar noir all three of these i'm i'm actually doing like 70s and 80s fragrances now for a while all of these are so masculine, but there's actually one thing that sets this apart from my last two fragrances is the quality of this is like a step above those two. And I'm not, I'm not saying that the quality of Fahrenheit and Drakkar Noor is bad or all at, at all. I'm just saying the quality of this is just way above its, its superior. And uh, this is actually batch came from June 2018, which gets me 
want to talk about formulations again and reformulations. And uh, I've talked about this many times about there's so many myths out there about reformulations and stuff. And I had this, um, I think I got my first bottle in 1982 when I was like maybe uh, a sophomore or a junior in high school, I think. And, uh, and I remember this. Everybody wore this. I knew this fragrance inside and out because I smelled it every day for years. I know this fragrance very well. Um, if I had to compare this 2018 batch with the early 80s batch that I had, there's pluses and negatives. The negatives is this doesn't have the longevity as the early 80s batch that I had. The early 80s batch that I had was... You're looking at like all day, all night, basically. It was like 12 hours from what I remember. This is still actually pretty good. I'm getting about seven to, nah, seven to seven and a half hours with this. So the only negative that I could say about this compared to the early 80s batch is the longevity isn't the same. The pluses is this has the same fragrance as the early 80s batch that I had. But the early 80s batch that I had was loud and it was obnoxious and it was raw. And that's actually, that sounds very pleasing, doesn't it? You know, raw and loud and obnoxious. That sounds pleasing, but in reality, to me, this is... They polished it. It's more polished. It's more well-rounded to me. It's more wearable. Um, but it still has, to me, from what I can remember, it still has the exact same scent, except it's just a little bit more, you know, well-rounded and polished. And it's more wearable. The performance is still good. I mean, I'm still getting seven, seven and a half hours, and the projection's pretty good. The scent trail is actually really good on this. Um, the scent trail, I can be at work for five hours and um, think that it's starting to fade a little bit. And, you know, people can still smell it like several feet away when I walk by. You know, I get compliments from this. So even though the longevity is shortened up a little bit, the projection is still good. So, um yeah, I highly recommend this. The quality is superior. This is one this is one really good quality. Um besides just being super masculine and super woody and tobacco and you know, fresh. It's just a great scent. Um a lot of people said that they would not wear this in the summertime. Um I don't have a problem with wearing this in winter or summer. I don't care if it's 30 degrees or you know, 90 degrees. I don't have any kind of problem wearing this in really high heat. Um, so, um, fragrance net, I'll put the link to where you can get this in the, um, description. Um, fragrance net, which is the only place that I buy from anymore, has a four ounce for 68 bucks. And I'll put the link to that in the description along with Egan Lifestyles YouTube channel. And uh, anyway, I hope y'all got something from this and uh, I'll come back in the next few days and do um, Tabak um, Eau de Toilette. So anyway, I hope y'all got something from this and I love you guys and I'll talk to you in a few days. All right, bye.